in the library, a lot of students have problems with unit conversions. And that could be anything from physics um, to organic uh, to chemistry and to math. Um, so it applies to almost every subject you could have. Um, and I was just going to go over an easy little tip to where if you do it right, you will never mess up. Granted, if, you're, uh, if you make your calculations correct. Um, so what you want to do, let's say that um, somebody wanted to know if you had 2,000 inches, how many feet or how many miles is that? Well, no, you would not know that off the top of your head. So what you'd want to do is you'd want to set up these conversions to where you could figure out what you want to multiply and divide by to get your final unit. Um, and in the way I'll show you, it will keep you from making uh, easy errors. So we'll start with this one. We have 2,000 inches. What you're going to do is you're going to set this up in fractions. So the first fraction, you have 2,000 inches. That's what you're given. And the trick is what you want to cancel and what you want to go to depends on where you place them on the top or the bottom. So we want to get rid of inches and go to miles. So we could say that in one foot there is 12 inches. And then by doing that, by just the property of division, those inches will cancel. So now your, your unit is the foot. So then, now we're in feet, we want to go to miles. So we do the same thing again. And we want to go two miles, so we put that on top. And in one mile, there is 5,280 feet. And then looking at your work, you can cross out your feet. And your final unit is miles, which is what you want. And then after you grab a calculator and punch it all in, and make sure you're careful when you do that because that's where people make mistakes, uh, you'll find out that 2,000 inches equals 0 0.0316 miles, or 3.16 times 10 to the negative, negative 2 miles. And just the neat part about this technique is that you can follow your steps through every calculation and you can see what cancels and when it cancels and then that's very very helpful. Uh, we'll run through two more examples uh, just, um, for, just for more practice. Uh, let's say that we have one mile and we want to know how many centimeters are in that mile equals centimeters. Well the metric system and the English system are both different so we're gonna have to convert to the metric system. So we have one mile, uh, we want to go to centimeters, and we don't know how many centimeters are in a mile, so we want to just break it down from what we know. So we're going to set up a fraction again, and in one mile there is 5,280 feet, your miles cancel, and then we want feet to cancel next, so we'll put feet on the bottom. We could say in one foot there is 12 inches, the feet cancel, and then now this is something that you would have to know already, but we know that there, in one inch there is 2.54 centimeters, and your inches cancel. So you could see that all of your units have canceled out except centimeter. So after you punch that in your calculator, you'll find out that one mile equals, uh, let's see, this number right here. And that's not something that you would know off the top of your head. So it's nice to be able to follow your steps and go through these conversions. And then also if you mess up, you can easily go back and see where you messed up. Uh, and just one more easy example. Let's say you have one year because it doesn't have to be just measurements and lengths that you could apply this to. And you can use it to with molarity and limiting reagents in chemistry and you can use it with other things as well. Um, let's say we want to know how many seconds are in a year. We would just say we have one year equals or times, I'm sorry. Let's see. times we want years to cancel so we'll put one year on the bottom 
And on top, we know that there's 365.24 days in one year. The years cancel. Now we want days to cancel, so we'll put days in the bottom because you want them across from each other. And in one day, there is 24 hours. Days cancel. And now we want hours to cancel, so we'll put hours in the bottom. So in one hour, there's 60 minutes. Hours cancel. And now we want minutes to cancel, so we'll put minutes in the bottom. And in one minute, there is 60 seconds. Minutes cancel. And you can go back and check your steps. The years cancel, days cancel, hours cancel, and the minutes cancel. So you're left with seconds. And after you type that in your calculator carefully, you have one year equals 31,556,736 seconds per year. So just by using this simple fractions, you can convert between measurement systems and you can also convert between lengths. Um, and you can follow your steps nice and easy. That way you don't make any easy mistakes on a test or a quiz.